case, we'll solve this problem. So the partial sum in the arithmetic series with first term 17 and a common difference 3 is 30,705. Then how many terms are in the series? So in solving this problem, we're going to use two formulas. So the first one, formula in solving for the sum of the arithmetic series. And also this formula, solving for the term in the arithmetic sequence. So we're going to combine these two formulas to create another formula. So from the sum of the arithmetic series, and we have this a sub n, and that's equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So we're going to substitute this equation to a sub n. So that's a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Then simplify, so by combining these two, a sub 1, and that's 2 a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So this is the formula we're going to use to solve this problem. So from this formula and this given, so a sub 1, that's the first term, 17. Then d is the common difference, that's 3. Then S sub N, that's the partial sum, that's 30,705. And N, that's the unknown because we're looking for the number of terms. Then substitute now these values to this formula. So we have S sub N, that's 30,705. Then 2 times A sub 1, and A sub 1 is 17. Then plus N minus 1 times D, D is... 3. Then simplify. So this 2 times 17 is 34. Then distribute. So we have positive 3n minus 3. Then combine 34 and negative 3. So that's 31 plus 3n. Then from this equation, so we need to simplify this one first by omitting the denominator. So multiply the whole equation by the LCD, and that is positive 2. Then uh, distribute to every term, so 30,705 times 2, so that's uh, 2 times 30,705, it's 61,410. Then also distribute this 2 to this term, so we can eliminate this. 2 and that's n times 31 plus 3n. Then distribute n to every term. So that's uh, 31n plus 3n squared. Then equate to 0. So transpose this 61,410. So we have 0 equals. Then arrange this equation starts from the highest exponent. So 3n squared plus 31n, then minus 61,410. Then from this quadratic equation, since this quadratic equation contains a big number, so we're going to use this quadratic formula to solve for the value of this variable n. So from this uh, equation, so a is equal to 3. And B is 31. Then C, that's negative, 61,410. Then substitute these values to this formula. So we have negative B or negative 31. Then uh, B squared or 31 squared minus 4AA is 3 times C, that's negative 61,410. Then over 2A, so 2 times 3. Then simplify, so this 31 squared, so 31 squared, that's 961, so 961. And this negative 4 times 3 times negative 61,410, so negative 4 times 3 times negative 61,410, that's positive. 736,920. So positive 736,920. Then 2 times 3 over 6. Then add these two numbers. 
So, uh, 961 plus 736920. So, 737881. Then, take the square root of this 737881. So, uh, square root of 737881. It's 859. Then since we're looking for the number of terms, so just drop this negative and take this positive. So we have n equals negative 31 plus 859 over 6. Then uh, simplify. So this negative 31 plus 859. So negative 31 plus 859. That's 828. So 828 over 6. Then divide by 6. So 8, uh, 2, 8. Then divide by 6. So the answer is 138. So therefore, this arithmetic series has 138 terms.